Well, it says most experts give people information and advice and transformational trainers give people a proven system. So I think part of it is the transformation of the being that Marilyn and Sean talked about. Part of it is also, as they mentioned, knowing how to set up an exercise, what to do, what is the content, how do you do that perfectly. But also, it's having a system that actually will move people from point A to point B. You know, the subtitle of my book, The Success Principles, is how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Yeah. And so you first have to know where you are and you have to know where you want to be but there's a system that moves people uh, one of my friends Orrin Hudson who you know yeah. uh, is a wonderful teacher himself and he shared this idea with me once it's become one of my core little teachings which is if you know the combination to a lock it doesn't matter if you're black or white young or old male or female went to college didn't go to college have a high IQ or low IQ you no, the lock will open when you use the right combination. And so a system is like a combination, but if you're missing one number, the lock won't open. If you have the numbers in the wrong order, the lock won't open. So a system is something that produces a consistent and predictable result every single time. And so what we teach people is a system of how to help people move from point A to point B. And if you do it correctly, it always works. It doesn't matter what the population is. My wife's done trainings in prisons up in San, near Santa Barbara where I live. And the same thing happens to them. Mm. You know, and these are people that have committed murder, people that are rapists, etc. And they move from here to there. They open up. Their hearts open up. They start getting in touch with who they really are. And, and everything changes. Wow. It's, it's really powerful. But you need to know a system that works. And yeah. you know, we've fortunately I've, you know, spent 40 years doing this have either, you can call it stumbled upon, researched, whatever. I know what works and I know what doesn't work. And so I'm, you know, I'm 69 years old. I want to get this information out to the world before right. I die sometime in the next 30 or 40 years. And so this whole training other people is my legacy of making sure this discovery I've made um, gets out to the world. Yeah, and I, I know that uh, everybody knows you as the chicken soup for the soul guy. Right. But there was definitely a, a point, I mean, one of the things that made you so successful at getting uh, selling so many books, mm -hmm. what were these principles, these things right. that you're talking about? And um, then you wanted, you decided, hey, I want to share those. And you realized, well, I've got to reinvent myself a little bit of uh, my own brand and, and do a new type of book, right. which we'll, we'll show people a picture of that they may be familiar with already, the success principles. And what I love about this is I, I've always been impressed how much of a student you are even today, where you know I sit next to you at a conference, and you are like writing all the notes down <laughs> and everything. And I've gone to your office. I've seen more books on transformation and and marketing and speaking. I mean, you're just a, a sponge for this information. So I can really relate mm -hmm. to you in, in so many ways. Um, and what I love about the success principles is this is like uh, I mean, right here. You, you know, you're 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 saying this is the most important principles that you've learned in 40 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, you give credit where credit's due for different people. Um, and not only was this book, you, you made this book a, uh, a bestseller, but, but also, you know, how many people watching this are, want to write a book, but also maybe want to turn that book into a coaching program, into a program that, a curriculum mm -hmm. that can be taught. And I mean, would it be fair to say that what you have from the training that comes out of this book mm -hmm. is a proven system for people to... Yeah, transform? it's a proven system to take these principles and put them into action so that you actually... You've heard people say, even tonight, you know, I doubled my income in six months. I tripled my income. I'm having more impact. My relationships work better. I'm being asked by the university to develop a course that's going to be taught nationwide in Mexico. Um, those kinds of of shifts yeah. are what people want to have happen and they've happened so whatever it is the training that I do and the training I teach people to do is how to integrate these principles into what they're already doing either as you said teach real estate better we have people that come we had a yoga teacher take the training. We've had people that are nutritionists take the training. We've had people that are chiropractors. I had a medical doctor. He left the training, uh, you know, at the end of it saying, I want to start the Transformational Medical Association and get together people that are doing transformational medicine, holistic medicine, integrative medicine. Right. So it, it's like it opens you up to really get that you can play a huge game mm -hmm. and that you can then, he's taking this into his medical practice. He's doing visualization and affirmations with people uh, and so on and so forth. So it really can be applied to any specific thing or if you just want to be a transformational trainer like me and run trainings for the public or you know for 
in-house trainings like uh, Maryland does for corporations, make that your full-time job. You can do that too. We have many people transferring out of corporate world who said, I've had enough. I want to do something that matters. Yeah. Not that corporations don't, but a lot of times you don't feel like you do the job, the recognition you get, the amount of impact you feel like you're making. And then two years later, they're successful trainers making a good living doing something they love that really makes a difference. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. what do you say to somebody who says, "Well, if people have a book, um, you know, they can they can make some." Is the is the book? What's the difference between the book and receiving training from someone like Sean or someone like Marilyn? You know, so so you write about for you. I mean, you got some things here that are tremendous, like helping people decide what you want, um, unleash the power of, of goal setting, so they can read about that in a book. Mm -hmm. But when they work with a a trainer when, when well what happens I mean a book can transform a life it does sure. happen all the time you know the Bible is a good example of that books can transform lives but most people they go to church they go over and over they meditate have they pray they have an experience etc yeah. and the same thing is true with this many people buy a book and I've, I've been guilty of this in the past you buy a book you underline a lot of it you highlight it you write marginal notes and you put the book on a shelf and you never do anything about mm -hmm. it and we call that having shelf esteem <laughs> you know, it doesn't really change much but uh, a training, a coaching program, working with you know a, a, a person that can facilitate you. What happens in a facilitate? You know the word facilitate is interesting. It comes from the Latin. F facile means easy. To yeah. facilitate is to make something easier. So you facilitate a process. You hold people accountable to make sure they actually do the things in the book, and you make sure they understand it at a level that you can never understand it from reading a book. Yeah. It goes back to that swimming analogy we talked about earlier. You can read a book on swimming, but until you get in the pool, nothing much really changes. And what happens is they get a manual of all the exercises, and we teach them how to do them. Mm. They have word-for-word -word scripts of how to do them. They go back, and at the end of the first week, they have to go back and run a half-day workshop. Wow, okay, so hold it. So if somebody, so those that are watching, because we have you know, two types of folks, I'm sure, right. that are joining us. Some are really experienced, and they're, they're already comfortable speaking and doing their thing, and they want to go to the next level. We have others, I'm sure, who are thinking they've never given a speech before. Maybe they're working their job, mm -hmm. but they'd like to learn to be mm -hmm. uh, uh, more impactful right. in what they do. And what I'm hearing from you is that, that someone that's in that category will get everything they need to be, they don't need to, they don't need to write a book. They don't, they don't need to have a one original idea. Correct. They just need to have an open heart. An uh, open heart and an open mind and a willingness to be a l to take a little bit of a risk, and we help them get rid of the fear of that in the training. Wow. And people come back and they say, "Oh my God, I did it!" We had a kid, a kid took the training. He's in college, took the training, went back, and he ran a workshop for fraternity brothers. And now he's doing workshops for kids on campus, and now he wants to be a professional trainer. Wow. You know, his dad. Just yeah. brought him to the training. Because you've given him a proven system. A proven this, system. I mean, this yeah. system works. It always works as long as you work it. We yeah. always say the system works if you work the system. Perfect. Yeah. And it, you know, and there's going to be little nuances and things where you have to kind of adjust and so forth. But that, that happens naturally. Yeah. And you can tailor it. That's the other great thing about it is people can tailor this yeah. to, to what they're doing. So um, that's, that's wonderful. Let's... Uh, we've got another guest I know who has done that sort of thing. Why don't you introduce us to our next guest? Well, this is Ardenia. Nice to see you on camera, Ardenia. I hope you can hear me. Hi. And she works at uh, Morgan. Is it Morgan University? Morgan State Morgan University. State University in Maryland. And uh, she took the training. And I'm just going to let you tell what you've done with it, uh, and, and you know where you were before, how you integrated into the university, and and, and what's happened as a result of it. Well, certainly. So, hi, Steve. Hi, hi Jack. Good to meet you. So, same here. So, I started, actually, I read this Success Principles book myself and, you know, certainly enjoyed it. It was very impactful for my life. And I started sharing it initially with students for academic advisement. So, I'm an MBA program director, Master of Business Administration. So, I would share the books. Depending on the student's situation, I shared the book. And then I was just like, this is, this is nuts. Every student needs this book. And so we developed a program called the Orientation and Leadership Institute, and it's three days at the start of each semester, and all the MBA students attend, new and continuing. So, you know, it's a hundred plus students that attend. Every student gets a copy of the book. And they don't just get a copy, we actually do a, a presentation. So, actually, so we, we give them the book, and inside of the book, it says presented to, and it has their name, by the Morgan MBA program, may this book encourage you to set amazing goals and exceed your greatest expectations. And we hand it off to them and we say, I wish you continued success. 
Mm. And so the students get the book, they get an assignment, they read, you know, we tell them, we assign them chapters, chapters, tell them just to read the first couple of pages. Because if you get them to read the first couple of pages, they're going to read the rest of the chapter. And the next day, so the second day of the Orientation and Leadership Institute, they come in, they're like, Professor Myron, can I, can I share my chapter? Can I share my chapter? They're so excited. You know, the students talked about, they talk about being jacked up, which is what they call it when they <laughs> say like really into the book. And you hear them all the time, you know, talking about, you know, E plus R equals O to each other. You know, they, they know the language of the success principles. And it has just been amazing to see the transformation in the students and not just one or two students. Um, it's, it's amazing to see students that, um, I think I mentioned to, to Jack one time, how the complaints have gone down because the book talks about taking 100% responsibility for your actions. Yeah. So the students are taking more responsibility instead of blaming a situation, a professor, another student, they take responsibility. So I get far less complaints. And let me tell you, college students complain. So let me ask you this, Virginia, what is, is, as a trainer, as a speaker, what have you learned from Jack's program? Oh my goodness. So we were already using the book, but when I found out that there was a program, I really wanted to not just be good at teaching the principles, I wanted to be excellent at teaching the principles. So now, in addition to teaching the principles, I can do these exercises and not just on the Orientation and Leadership Institute. I learned, I incorporated the exercises into our last information session. So we have an open house, people come in. And I, Jack, I did the exercise where, where you turn your, your arm as a visual, visualization exercise. Mm -hmm. And I mean, people were like awed by it, that they can visualize and really change you know what their outcomes mm -hmm. and there were people leaving that came and said I just came to the information session with my friend but now I'm gonna apply to the MBA program wow. so me learning those exercises isn't gonna impact our enrollment that's huge that's great well thanks for sharing we really appreciate it so thank you thanks Have a, a lot Ardini thanks for being patient hanging in there until yeah. we got you on air my pleasure okay Ardini I think is a great example of somebody who obviously has been a teacher speak you know confident uh, mm -hmm. go-getter speaker but she said something that I find really separates the the rich experts the thought leaders the influentials from the people who people haven't heard of and that is I wanted to be better mm -hmm. you know, I really wanted to be better because not just I not just I wanted to grow my career and my influence but I want to make more of a difference yeah